Good evening everybody, thank you very much for joining in. This is 42nd, 41st, 42nd in the series where we are going to speak about a topic which is known as RIC of Reuters. Basically I would introduce towards the various rigs which you have to see on the Reuters once you are booking your forward contract whether it is an export side forward contract or it is an import side forward contract. Well from this side I am Rahul Magan working as a corporate treasurer in Eats and Services India. At the same time I am a treasury treasurer and a business consultant in various forums across the world and also also acting as a virtual treasurer for various companies in Asia predominantly in India and Singapore. My first book which is Options for Risk Free Portfolio published in uh, New York in March 2014-2013. Second book which is uh, which is Techniques to Hedge Your Interest Rate Exposure is scheduled to publish in Singapore and Sydney by December 2014. You're welcome to join my foreign exchange club, which is known as Foreign Exchange Navy Thinkers on LinkedIn, which is 2170 global members, and YouTube, which is 41 technical videos, 1200 subscribers, and 44 subscribers, 1200 uh, views, and 44 subscribers. The third is a daily motion, wherein I have 35 technical videos. I'm again stressing on the fact that today we're going to speak about a topic which is known as forward contract, which is what are the various risks you have to see using Reuters. You are welcome to contact me at 9899242978 and at rahulmagan8 at the rate gmail.com. Like in the earlier in, in the earlier videos we had discussed about about forward contracts. What do you mean by forward contracts? Forward contract is of two type. One do you mean by LTFS forward contract, second second do second you have STFS forward contracts. LTFS forward contract refers to as a long term forward contract. And STFX forward contract refers to the short term forward contract. However, once we are booking the forward contract via a terminal which is known as Reuters, which is the global financial terminal, we need to see the various risks that how the market is pricing a forward contract. So Reuters price like that. In fact, Reuters is the financial terminal which will tell you the where the market is moving so they will price accordingly. So they will just give you a market rate. They, they do not have any jurisdiction to price whether they will give you how market is doing that. Where the currency is heading. So in case today we will take, take one example which will which be known as USD INR. So I assume this is Reuters. USD INR forward contract in Reuters you would have two quotes what do you mean by bid and second you mean by ask bid refers to corporate selling and bank buying and ask refers to corporates buying and bank selling. So today we are going to consider an example of an exporter which is we are assuming it to be cognizant. So if cognizant would have to hedge via a forward contract, cognizant would see the bid rate because they are a seller. So Congress it will see a bid rate and assuming the bid rate is 60.25 to 60.26. It means 60.25 is the selling rate at which Congress it can sell, 60.26 is the buying rate at which Congress it can buy. So Congress and being an exporter, so Congress and will do 60.25. So Congress and would lock the spot which is 60.25. Then to fix the forward price, if forward price would further categorize into two parts. Forwards will further post fixing the spot. You can further categorize forwards into two parts. What do you mean by month end forward? And then mean by broken period forward. Month end forward means you are booking a forward contract which is exactly of a month end. Example sitting today, you are booking for 31st October, you are booking for 31st December or 30th November. Exact the end of day. Bro broken means any date, example 27th October, 28th October, 26th October, any date which is known as broken, broken forward contract. For that on Reuters you have to see which is known as INR1F equals to. INR1F will tell you about all the forward. 
will tell you the forward rate it will give you the spot it will give you the cash spot it will give you the cash tom and it will it will give you the tom it will give you the overnight and then it will give you the spot spot next it will give you spot week then one month two month three month four month five month two twelve month so every day it will give you it will it will do like that let me cite again let me write again it would be your spot cash spot tom spot overnight which is your uh, spot next spot week one month two month three month four month five month six month near 12 months and this is going to be the bid this is going to be the ask the only thing that would variable in this that would remains a little, little bit off from fundamental is that cash spot tom and overnight conventionally quoted like that it is ask and bid so only these three ratios would be quoted like that which is ask and bid so first you have an importer then you would then you would have an exporter the rest would remain intact so when a corporate treasurer is booking a short term forward contract what he have to do he predominantly have to see this screen which is INR 1F by short term forward contract I am taking I am referring to a fact that he is booking a forward contract which is 0 to 12 months so he would see INR 1F INR 1F will give you a month end rate that month end rate you have to convert into a broken period rate refers to cash spot and cash tom and you can, speak, you, you can speak with the bank that this is the rate at which you should book your forward contract on the other hand if a treasurer is booking a long term forward contract which is refers to as a LTFX then a treasurer can refer to a screen INR LTF equals to INR LTF equals to will tell you the, the rate the standard rate from one and half year two year three year till ten year so these are the standard rates which INR LTF will tell you please be note that it is very important for you once you are booking a forward contract that you should know that how Reuters is pricing the same basically it's not the Reuters pricing that how market is pricing the same and where you can see the quotes the short term forward contract I'm again stressing the fact that you can see via INR 1F where you have a you have a spot, cash spot, cash term overnight please be noted cash spot, term spot and overnight would have a reverse because it's a nomenclature this is ask and bid rest would follow as normal from 1 month till 12 month INR LTF which is INR long term forward one for booking a long term forward contract you have to see INR LTF where you will get a standard rate 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, 5 and so on till 10 years, 12 years whatever please be note that once you are booking a long term forward contract it is not an easy job it is highly illiquid market so if if INR LTF will give 10 years as 40 rupees a bank may offer you 38 rupees bank may offer you 39 bank may offer you 39.50 bank may offer you uh, anything anything bank may offer you 40 as well anything because this market is highly liquid highly highly illiquid so either LTF code is just an indication of a fact that okay fine these are the month end premium of a 10 years so you can you can speak to the bank this is all about the fixing of forward contract via Reuters you are most welcome to contact me at 9198992429789 you are welcome to email me at rahulmagan8 at the rate gmail.com please be note that once you book a forward contract it would be predominantly important for you to understand the fact that where to see a price on Reuters until and unless you have a financial terminal in place there is no point of buying and selling in the market because you are getting an opaque pricing thank you very much thanks for joining me